Hello and welcome to Crypto Studio one more time. So here I'm gonna tell you some tips about overclocking Ryzen 9 uh, 5950X in your computer based on the motherboard you have. So uh, the point is this, that normally you get 3600 megahertz from your CPU, especially while you have a Ryzen 9, and uh, this is something that doesn't maybe, maybe satisfy you after installing that on your uh, computer. What you want is just a higher megahertz, a higher uh, uh, performance of your CPU. So I'm just showing you one of the easiest way to overclock and some tips about uh, being careful how you overclock your CPU into your motherboard and your computer to have a better performance and compatibility with your system. Uh, as you can see here, normally this is possible to get about uh, 4401 uh, megahertz of my CPU because I have just overclocked it. Normally it gave me 3600 megahertz, but that 3600 megahertz I could get it out of an i7 too. I could get it an i5 even, Intel uh, CPUs. But this time I just decided to change some settings of my BIOS into the motherboard to get a better um, performance of my CPU like 4401 or maybe 4400. Even I have just overclocked it onto 4900, even 5000 megahertz with my Ryzen 9 5950X, but you need to know some important features of overclocking the CPU and I will show that in BIOS how you need to do that because if you just change some parameters by mistake you will have overheating and if the system starts overheating it shows uh, unstable uh, behaviors and for sure it starts thermal throttling and afterwards damaging the CPU after all. But um, what I'm just telling you here as you can see, I'm just having 4,400 megahertz with my CPU, but normally it was 3,600. Uh, the CPU core voltage is 1.27 volt, but normally if you open your software, I'm, I'm just using MSI Dragon Center because I have an MSI motherboard installed in my system. So I'm just monitoring everything in the monitor section. Uh, I checked it before, it was 1.4 and even 1.4, uh, even more than that, 1.41, 1.42. Uh, the core voltage was higher than this. So if I just want to overclock my system and uh, have core voltage like 1.4, this will be a bit dangerous. It is risky and you may have an uh, overheated system, start thermal, thermal throttling and damaging your system like that. Uh, but with this megahertz that I found myself stable with this setting, and I will show you how I did, did, did all these settings, because I just do uh, some games and uh, I edit films with uh, After Effects, Premiere, and some uh, video editing softwares like that. I found these features uh, stable. So I will show you how you play with the features in order to get a stable uh, system, but take care uh, how you change the parameters into the motherboard and uh, the bias actually, while you wanna change the core voltage, or you wanna change the uh, CPU ratio and all these things. Let's get to bias and I will show you how. This is actually the device I have with MSI uh, Mag X 570 Unify. So as you see here, I have uh, different kinds of bottoms and options. Uh, first of all, I come to the OC part, as you can see on the uh, left part of the monitor. So in here, you may have CPU ratio to auto. In auto position, C CPU ratio or the frequency is about 3400. It is not even 3600. So what you need to do is to change it to 44, which is 4400, even higher. You can ch uh, change it to 45 or even 50 based on what you need. But uh, I'm just telling you that, this is a disclaimer. You need to be careful about what you're doing here. You have to uh, take care of the CPU core ratio and especially the CPU voltage if you want to change your uh, CPU performance because it may be a bit risky after all but trying for one time or two time doesn't do anything but here 44 was something that I got actually I uh, decided to uh, get XMP to profile one or changing DRAM frequency to DDR4 3600 because my RAMs actually support this amount so this is what I need to change for sure if I want to get a better, a better compatibility of my system and performance. So here, actually I have CPU core voltage. So in CPU core voltage, I have auto part, which is 
uh, I don't know high or something like that but uh, I will choose override mode and in override mode I will choose 1.20 for example 4 or 1.27 or 1.26 or everything like that so if you change if you want to play with this number so you have to be careful do not go over 1.35 while you're just overclocking your CPU, especially in core ratio. While you change core ratio, it is a good idea. It is actually better not to exceed and not go, uh, not, not to go more than uh, 1.35 in core voltage because it, it will be a bit risky. You may have um, an unstable system at least. But you can just go to 45, 46 in CPU ratio and you change it from 25, 26 or anything like that, the, the CPU core voltage to 1.3, uh, but not 1.35 or uh, not even 4 because it will work really hot and uh, this is not a good idea to have your CPU this much hot. So I prefer to stay on 44, uh, 45 was stable for my system too. So if uh, it was a bit unstable, I changed my CPU core voltage, for example, to 1.29. Uh, but for me, it was uh, somehow okay to put my uh, CPU ratio to 44, 4400 megahertz and my CPU core voltage to about 1.25 to 1.278. You can just take it to 5000 megahertz, but do not exit your uh, CPU core voltage more than uh, 1.35. Uh, if it was unstable at least go to 1.36 but not more actually not at least at most actually you should go to 1.36 but at least it's a good idea to put it on 1.21 1.22 some uh, range between this amount of core voltage to the highest which is 1.35 36 but take care you need to monitor your system until you get in a stable situation if you do not do that and you leave it as it is so it may start thermal throttling and starts damaging the CPU this is not a good opinion uh, to overclock it and leave it like that or start playing game like that you uh, need to just do some benchmarks you need to uh, check everything especially while you change these parameters maybe it is an un unstable system maybe you get an unstable system with 44 but with 45 you get a better system with core voltage of 1.25 maybe your system is not that much stable but you need to change this 1.25 to 1.35 or 1.28 27 to get a better and stable system so what i'm just offering you do not go more than these amounts because it may be a bit dangerous for you uh, as, I, as you can see here axmp is the uh, profile one i chose because of my ram frequency it gives more power to my system uh, and my cpu as well so I hope you found this video useful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe us. And if there's any question, you can just text me on Telegram, YouTube, and Instagram.